We all have our favorite camping spots, either a campground or a wilderness site in the forest or desert. Many of us only get away to our favorite campsite once, or if we're fortunate, twice a year. Many great memories are the result of our camping vacation trips. But over time, we also want to discover and camp at new sites. How do we discover these new locations? I research the internet months in advance to locate possible new sites for camping. Scouting a new site before camping at it is important. This video documents a scouting mission I conducted when I was camping at one of my favorite sites in July 2018. I researched the site on the internet last winter. What I found was a primitive campground run by the National Forest Service called the Forest Road 93 Fifth Campground, located atop of the Muggion Rim in Northern Arizona. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it for you. Give it a like at the end of the video and also subscribe to my channel for more great content. So as I say on my other videos on Sam's Camping Videos, let's get to it! It's called the 9350 Campground and it is a campground of the National Forest Service but it's a, of the primitive variety. So I want to drive us down there today and let me show you a map of where we're going to go. Now here's a map of, of a particular area of the Apache Sick Graves National Forest on the western end of it. I'm currently camping uh, in a spot that's off the inset so it's about a few miles to the east there and here's Highway 260 we'll be traveling that and you see some uh, recreational areas along the way uh, one is a uh, Willow Springs Lake and you can camp there but where we're gonna go is uh, we'll be turning right onto a road called Rim Road 300 which is right there so we'll be turning onto here and going down there we'll follow 300 for a while actually for a few miles I think and then we all go past some other recreational areas we got Rim Lakes Vista, you see there, and Woods Canyon Vista. And then we'll be turning on to a little forest road. I don't, don't know what's really called, but it's this one right here. Well, we'll get ready to depart for it in just a moment. Well, we're getting ready now to leave my campsite and drive on over to this new destination that I might want to camp at next year. So let's All get right, to it. Approaching Highway 260. I got no one behind me, so I'll just stop there momentarily to look at the map and take note of the miles to the next waypoint. All right, let's go. Let's go down there. After several miles of traveling west on Highway 260, up on the Mugion Rim in northern Arizona, I've located the 300 Rim Road. Yes, just as I remembered it. I see a sign for Rim Road 300, well the number 300. I've been here before.
looks like Woods Canyon Lake is right to the right there. And now we're going off the off the pavement on to the forest road. This is what I remember. Okay, I drove right past this until I realized my mistake. So I came back and I found the sign. I don't think there was a sign uh, coming here originally, so that's probably why I missed it. But there, but this, but this sign is visible from the road if you look real carefully and and look at your odometer readings. So I'm at the entrance here. So let's take a little exploration trip around well, here. We're now. gonna start our exploration here. Uh, the 9350 campground. Okay, we're coming up to the first campsite here. It is occupied. Coming up to the edge of the rim here. Coming up to another campsite that's empty. One right by it is occupied. Let's take it a little bit slower through here. And what I'm seeing, this is Wednesday in the middle of the week and there's people here at these sites so far. Here's one on the left, right next to the, the uh, escarpment of the muggy on the One's to the right, yeah, they're occupied. It could be like the primo spots for being on the rim and they're occupied. More to the right, they're occupied. Another one to the left. Should be a primo site. Occupied. I'm sounding like a broken record. Definitely wouldn't be able to get a trailer up in where I'm going now, so. I have to give this up for a little bit here. Well, this particular spot right here isn't occupied. It's on the rim, but uh, I'm not gonna, of course, camp here. <laughs> I wouldn't camp here. I couldn't be. I wouldn't be able to get a, a travel trailer up in here. But I do want to show you the views that you have here so let me like shut down my truck and get back to you in a minute it's beautiful up here on the top of the Mugion Rim in northern Arizona I can see why there are so many of these sites are already been taken it's gorgeous I did my uh, exploration of the 9350 campground on the 300 Rim Road on the Mugion Rim, northern Arizona. And I came away a little bit disappointed. Number one, if you're going there from my home, I could possibly miss it because there isn't a visible street sign for it. Um, if you look very carefully to the left, to where the entrance is, you, you can see a smaller uh, sign for the campground. Also, uh, the road through here is very rough, and unfortunately, I wouldn't drive my travel trailer through these roads. Number three is uh, all the Primo sites, which are next to the rim on the escarpment. Well, they're occupied, and this is the middle of the week, and that surprised me actually. But it does fit in with my research which uh which alluded to this place being a popular place to come to it's quite obvious the views are gorgeous four where i'm at right now was the only uh 
site uh, which wasn't occupied on the Primo area uh, but like I said before I wouldn't have been able you know to drive a travel trailer up here and from how rocky it is here I wouldn't park the travel trailer here so unfortunately my conclusion is this would not be a spot that I would go to for for travel trailer camping I may consider it as something to go g-packing to just for the fun of it uh, but I would have to do it at a time of the year to where it wasn't the winter time and it wasn't the heat so that concludes our scout of the 9350 campground which is run by the National Forest Service